I think what it'll do is allow us to just across business sectors unite together and say to our guests that are not only local residents, but those that are now coming to the area, we've thought this through, we've got great guidelines in place, they're gonna work to meet the needs of the CDC uh, and the greater state needs to make sure that you're gonna be in a safe environment no matter what sort of business you come and interact with because we wanna make sure you're comfortable being here on Hilton Head and a part of our community like you normally are. The goal was to come up with a set of uniform standards that our restaurants could all adhere to, uh, those that are gonna be required, as well as those that would be best practices so that the Chamber of Commerce can work with us on presenting a seal of approval that's guest facing, that can live on our websites, on our front doors, so the guests walking in the door know that we have met these minimum agreed upon requirements across our restaurant industry here locally. They also tie into the South Carolina Restaurant Allogen Association standards, as well as the National Restaurant Association standards. So that was the main goal, is to have something that we can all commonly say, these, these are the, the uh, practices that we're going to make sure are in place and then we can layer on top of that the additional practices that work for our individual restaurants. The most noticeable one that you're going to see is the, uh, the social distancing. You won't see a normal situation when you come to the bar, certainly in phase one of the CDC approved reopening. There'll be smaller groups allowed at the bar, more walk-up counter service for the bar service. But inside the dining rooms, once we're allowed to come back inside, I think you'll see that the spacing is very well thought out. And while that's not necessarily a hard cap on occupancy, it will translate into reduced occupancies. Back to work.